wanted to create something that fought against this tendency towards dystopia, towards this tendency to the apocalypse. Uh, me and Naomi and Avi and Kim and Jim and Alexandria, we wanted to create a vision of a hopeful, beautiful future, of a future that we wanted to live in. So we made this animation with the idea that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was rolling into Washington on the new train at some point in the future and thinking back to how she had gotten there, thinking back uh, to how a series of climate disasters, including Puerto Rico, led to the Green New Deal being adopted and led to the country being made a better, more beautiful, a more kind and more dignified place. Puerto Rico, where your father's from. Yes, my father's from Puerto Rico. I think one of the reasons that this project was so meaningful to me was because both me and Alexandria and probably a million, over a million other New Yorkers, we saw what climate change looks like in real life. We saw that it wasn't just like some theory, something, you know, far off that might happen, you know, in 20 years or 100 years. No, we saw climate change tear through Puerto Rico and kill 2,000 Americans. And I think probably my, my favorite piece, uh, the piece that was most moving to me to draw was this image of a house, like a pink, you know, very typical, like casita in the mountains, uh, that had been uh, decimated by Maria, but the defiant Puerto Rican flag still there. Yeah, and in fact, uh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez's family is also from uh, Puerto Rico, like your, your father is. And she refers um, in the uh, narration, she refers to what happened in Puerto Rico, Hurricane Maria, as the climate bomb. Um, so, can you talk about the significance for you, as for her, of making this, as you say, uh, uh, extremely moving visualization of what occurred? I think a lot of people, when they look at the magnitude of changes that have to be made to properly fight against climate change, they're like, oh, my God, that's too big, that's too extreme. But for me, and I think for Alexandria and for many other people who saw what happened in Puerto Rico, the other option is unimaginable. The other option is just submitting to having hurricanes periodically kill grandparents or having wildfires periodically burn down houses forever. I think that it was very, very important to us to communicate the urgency. But the other thing that um, Puerto Rico taught me after Maria was the incredible uh, resilience of people, the way that people who had been completely not just neglected but spat upon by the federal government and by FEMA joined together and created mutual aid centers that cleared the roads, that fed their neighbors, that kept old people alive. And so when um, me and Kim and Jim and Alexandria and Avi and Naomi were conceiving of this, we didn't just want to capture you know, the, the bad parts, the horrible things. We wanted to capture the idea that, yes, we can do great things. We can be resilient. We can come together.